We'll have him. Okay, but first, it could only happen in Las Vegas. A British divorcee meets a beautiful blonde American in a hotel bar after he spills a drink over her. They have a drink or two, they dance the night away, they fall in love, for love, read lust, and 17 hours later, they tie the knot, watched by 20 stunned friends in a wedding chapel. Now living miles apart, the groom and his bride claim to be overjoyed. Meanwhile, back in England, the groom's father has described his son as a plonker. <laughs> What a story. It sounds like a sort of mini break that Carol would pull off, or Denise. <laughs> yeah. But do you, do you think there is a future in an impulsive wedding? Do you know, how many times have you heard that, the, the, you know, as soon as I met him, I knew he was the one? And how many men have said, I just knew I was going to marry that woman? It's happened to so many people. Wouldn't it be lovely if, just for once, something turned out nice? It would be lovely if they just stayed together for all that time. It, it would yeah. be nice. I know that you can have a drunken fumble and some things are nice. <laughs> you know, we've all, we've all done it, haven't we? Really? <laughs> but sometimes you just meet that one and you just know it's the one. I agree with that. I, I do, absolutely. Well, I even do. after 17 hours filled with alcohol. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure that it'd be a good idea to get married so quickly, mm. but I do, I do know people as well, and, and I've done it myself, where you've seen someone and you, you can't really explain how you think you know them. You know, and I, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not getting spiritual or anything, don't worry. Um, I'm still my old cynical self. But I do think that sometimes you might have met someone in a past life and, and you just know that they're... You are getting all spiritual. I am getting all spiritual. No, no, no. What did you do in Marrakesh? I, no, but sometimes you, sometimes you can't explain no. a familiarity, a feeling of familiarity you know, that I you agree. know somebody. I it's agree, chemistry. but I would, yeah. I would agree and hold out more hope for it if it wasn't, you know, where there wasn't alcohol involved and tipping it over her and... <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't bode... It doesn't feel as though they're on this, in the same zone of spiritual... <laughs> yeah, well, Very spiritual. Spiritual, yes. <laughs> it's very yeah, but spirit. <laughs> you, when you think about it, you know, so many things would never have happened had it not been for alcohol, certainly in my case. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. But don't you think that... Um, but, I mean, it's all good and well, and we're having a good laugh about this, but there's a big difference between a wedding and a marriage. Yeah. And they... And a wedding in Vegas. And a wedding in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Which you know, is, you know, can, the wind. Yeah, a lot of people treat it very lightly, and, you know, so many people just go off to Vegas and get married, and it is a bit of a novelty kind of thing to do, it's isn't it? It's an exciting it? thing Like to The do. Hangover. Yeah, yeah, that film The Hangover. But, you know, if well, you I really... If you, if you appreciate the sanctity of marriage... I think it's slightly frivolous and, and borderline disrespectful. And also, it's blimmin' easy to get mad. It's blimmin' difficult to get divorced. Oh, mm. it's much oh, harder. Come on, this is low. Oh, Jane, for goodness sake. <laughs> it's Jane! Oh. I'm, yeah. with, I'm with Jane. You're I'm not married. married. No, I'm not. I've been to <laughs> Vegas. <Yes. laughs> you could do it quickly if you go to Vegas. It's not a bad idea. No, you're... Mm. Don't Ooh. you dare not invite her. <laughs> no, Dad never said that out loud. Oh, it's live! <laughs> Is def definitely not going to Vegas for his stag do now. <laughs> no way, I'll come back and marry somebody else. <laughs> now it's your time for our second shot.